Hello everyone, it's Kenneth here. Welcome to my quick simulation review of Raw, June 10th. Raw started off with Triple H going one on one against Curtis Axel. In the middle of the match, Mr. McMahon came out and said that Triple H lost by forfeit. Then Triple H went onto the ring and said that the match was gonna restart in a 60 minute Iron Man match. Then Mr. McMahon grabbed the ring bell and left the ring. I have no idea what happened here. Next moment. Triple H told Stephanie that she had to talk to Wins before he kicked his ass. Next moment. The big red monster Kane went one on one against the United States champion Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose got disqualified because the shield attacked Kane, then Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton saved Kane. Next moment. Then we got the vote results if Daniel Bryan was gonna face Roman Reigns or Seth Rollins. The WWE audience voted for Seth Rollins to face Daniel Bryan. And because of that Randy Orton was gonna face Roman Reigns later tonight. Next moment. The number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship The Miss went one on one against Cody Rhodes with Wade Barrett at commentary. At the end of the match, The Miz hits the figure for a leg lock and Cody Rhodes steps out. Then Paul Heyman came out and said that since Fandango got concussion, Curtis Axel will be in the triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship at Payback. Next moment. Then Stephanie McMahon told Wins that it was wrong to embarrass Triple H in front of the world. Next moment. Chris Jericho talked about his match with CM Punk at Payback. Then Jericho said that the match will never Ah, then he got interrupted by the World Heavyweight Champion Dolph Ziggler. Dolph called Jericho pathetic, Chris Jericho challenged Ziggler to a match, then he said, You got it! Against Big E Langston. Jericho hit a cold breaker on Big E and won the match. What to J, baby? Next moment. Sin Cara went 1 on 1 against Antonio Cesaro. Antonio hit a neutralizer and picked up the win. Next moment. The Apex Predator Randy Orton went one on one against Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins attacked Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan attacked Roman Reigns and the match ended in a no count. Then Daniel Bryan went one on one against Seth Rollins. Daniel Bryan hit a small package and picked up the win. Then Randy Orton RKO'd Seth Rollins. Next moment. Caitlyn finally found out who the guy that was texting her was. It was Big E Langston. When Big E tried to kiss Caitlyn he slammed her into the ground and AJ came out. It was all a setup by AJ. Next moment. Damien Sandow went one on one against R-Truth. Damien hit the silencer and Damien picked up the win. Then Sheamus came out and said that he was gonna kick off Damien's head at payback. Next moment. Triple H and Miss McMahon talked backstage. Win said to Triple H that he is much bigger than a match with Curtis Axel. But he said that if Triple H wanted a match next week, he would get a match against Curtis Axel. The final moment has arrived. The WWE Champion John Cena talked with Ryback which was standing on the stage about their match at payback. All the lumberjacks that would be at payback was surrounding the ring. Ryback and John Cena jumped at each other, but the lumberjacks stopped them from fighting. Show over.